Hey and welcome to a new flight on board the FSX. Today we are going to fly with this beautiful Embraer 175 of Air Canada in a bit of special livery. We fly with the 100th Embraer 175 from Sydney to Toronto. And now you think maybe uh, eh, Sydney, this is like quite a far distance. And yes, it is. Uh, actually, I don't mean the Sydney you think about. I mean uh, Sydney in uh, Nova Scotia. This is in the a bit in the north of Can uh, Nova Scotia. Here we are, and we are going to fly to Toronto, which is located here. So not such a big flight, but yes. A bit, it makes me a bit confused with these many Sydneys and Londons in uh, the United States and Canada. So, but yes, today with this beautiful uh, little bird, and the bird is in cold and dark state, of course. And um, uh, something about the airport, I have to say, I use here a freeware scenery from Orbix system, and yes, at the beginning I thought it's uh, quite a uh, uh, ugly. Um, add-on, but I think in real life it doesn't like so much uh, look so much different. Here is a parking area, but the rest is nearly the same. So yes, it's not the best add-on, but uh, we can accept it, okay? So now we are going to in the cockpit and first of all we turn on the batteries, so we have a little bit of uh, power on board. Auto brakes to rotate, and I don't think that we have the possibility to switch on an APU. Welcome aboard. Before we depart, so no, I think uh, APU, yes, but not the um. Um, the possibility to to oh, how do we say um, to use it um, for uh, to have a uh, external power now <laughs> I had some problems sorry about that and now we are going to the switch on the navigation lights logo lights of course this light I don't know it Yes, I think that's it. Okay, I, a CPU we, do, we have on board, nice. So, there is all on and now we have the possibility to go to the CDU and... Yes, first of all we are going to... We are also flying on Ivao for information chest and we are going to set the squawk here the squawk to 100 and here we st look that we are on the unicorn frequency because of course there is no <laughs> tower online I didn't expect it that that here is a tower but yes nice to have okay we are now on unicorn as you can see and now we are going to hide this beautiful um, thing and we go to this page next and load the position so the airplane is located and localized and now we can start our flight plan in it yes that's it okay um, flight plan we are going to fly to from Sydney to Toronto. And today we uh, use uh, many SIDs and stars. Eh, uh, no, what I'm talking about. Why are um, we are going to fly why are um Um, this, then Yankee Quebec Mike, Q 
Aquatic. Mike. Okay, and then. Okay, this. Oh no, there are some problems. A return, we don't do so something like that, and Pata is our next. waypoint and then Mexo Where is the O here? And now we have a waypoint Quebec 806 Quebec 806 point um to kill okay that's it activate the flight plan departure route of course we need but first of all we have to start the boarding or the catering services of course to but I I hope that they uh, I can't open these doors. So yes, we'll see. As the sky chefs, we'll see if the board if the catering can be boarded. If not, uh, then yes, we will um, abort it and um, s start with our further flight. Um, preparations. Yes, that's how we will do it. Now we have to have a look which run we will use. We will use the longer uh, 07, runway 07 is our departure runway, of course. Here it is 06, I think. Okay. And this insert. Activate here. Activate, okay. Then. Uh, nav, arrival, of course, too. Arrival will be. Let me have a look. Of course, we need here a bit, bit of realism. So, we will have a look on a uh, flight radar which runway is active at the moment. There are many uh, active runways in... Um, Toronto, so... We have to uh, look carefully which runways are uh, active at the moment. But we see here is an Airbus 390 on the approach uh, to runway um, which is it? Runway 15 left. We are going to take runway 15 right. And this is this one. Okay, perfect. Then, approach. We need. Okay, I don't know if this is correct, but yes. And then the rocket something. Rocket. Two uh, is from flight radar, but we will uh, rack it three, and then um, transition is two here, of course. Insert. Okay, now let's have a look. Here, I seen something which isn't good. Blood. Here and here. Activate. Okay. I think all is prepared for our flight. And let's have a look if our bo our catering service. Ah, nice. But uh, what I am a bit struggling about is we don't have any sound.
but I think that's all normal. Yes. So, yes, if there's no sound, I don't know why, but okay. So, we're going to uh, set the uh, performance in it. Okay, this is okay. Then we go to the next page. So, okay, and okay. Here we have to uh, set the cruising altitude. We have 230. 230. Flight level 230. This is here. Then, um, zero fuel weight. We also need to have a look. Okay, here we have to have a look um, something else and here we have to um, press this is a nice feature now we have the perfect um, uh, all is perfect in it here and now um, departure approach speed return and take off here is okay next is okay and here we have one three six this is not perfect but but something like that will be okay request boarding Then um, we have to. Now we have sound. Sorry about that, but I've uh, really forgot that I've uh, put the the sound on uh, neutral. Maybe you have heard something in the recorded file, but I, I forgot in it. Sorry about that. If you had no sound. Now it sounds really nice. <laughs> okay, 145 is here and um, 150 is here and uh, 180 is here. Okay, perfect. That's it for this part and then we have to go here. The plan. Um, Weather. Normal than map. I want to see the progress. Vertical profile. This I want to see also. No, vertical profile is better. And here we have the map. I think it's better. So that's for this and I think the beacon can be also on if we have a running APU. Okay. Then um the course of course is uh, zero six zero uh like this okay and this one too oh here ca we can also um vertical profile so that's a really nice gadget i think so okay and here we can uh, the altitude we need the altitude we have uh, two three zero of course okay um let's have fun with um looking that we have the correct
Okay, APU generator is now off and now on. Yes, and which was no takeoff config, yes. Yes, yes, yes. We'll see. But first we have to, to look that we have the perfect altitude. Oh nice. Bus is gone. Here they are boarding their baggages for this beautiful plane. I like it really and it's my, uh, for information, just uh, my first flight with it. I've never fl flown with this add-on. I've uh, watched some tutorials and that's it. So, yes, it's quite exciting also for me. Speed. We have to set 180 knots, I think that would be okay. Now auto thrust activated. Then here we can set takeoff configuration. Um, altitude. VNAV. Where is LNAV here? Okay, I think that's it. Then flaps. We have a takeoff with flaps too. And yes, hydraulics here. The fuel pumps auto. Then here the hydraulics. Okay, yes. Boarding is already completed. That's that's gone really fast. Nice. So please connect, disconnect the stairs. Nice. They are going away, driving away here. They are. Um, they are. That's such a nice thing. You can go to the cabin. Here we have a business class, which is a, a really rare thing in um, in this uh, smaller planes and yes there are some s uh, chairs for the economy passengers have this view here okay now let's go back into the cockpit because we are now ready for push and start and so Request push and start and tail left no engine start before pushback. I don't know um, Oh, yes, it would be better when we use this taxiway But in this case we will go to the runway on this and then yes, it's not so busy at this airport. I think so We can accept this okay <laughs> Are you agree with me? I hope so So let's start the engines. I'm really happy. It's, it's all perfect at the moment. So I don't know. I think we have to. Um, to set the um, packs off, but I can't find them. So I hope that this airplane is uh, such modern that. Yes, I think so. Okay, and here we can switch the engine ignition on or to auto. And that's all we have to do to start the engines. Look, the fans are already rotating. And yes, uh, it's a quite a uh, easy plane, I think so. If you have a little idea what to do, then you, you can use it very easily. Okay, engine is nearly stabilized. Oh, 
Okay, I hope that all will uh, be running like I want it to be running. Yes, I think so. Break set and here no takeoff config. Yes, I know, but I don't know how to set it in takeoff config. Here, up, uh, up this we can uh, have to. S to switch it but I don't know if this is the problem uh, over the auto thrust you can press and then yes but I don't think so okay so we will cancel this ignore this um, error yeah, I, s I call it now the error but yes of course it isn't an error so taxi light is on APU we can switch off And I think we can start our taxiing. Flight controls, yes, they are nice. I think so. There is the marshal. Goodbye, bye bye. Yeah, this is also a nice gadget. Um, you can open the window, but it's a bit on an It's a bit unnecessary. I, I have to say also. Okay, but now we are going to taxi. This is beautiful Air Canada. Uh, bird. I really like him. This small bird. You can switch on the dome light, I think, sir. No. Okay. But it doesn't matter. Let's see, what is it? Now we have to turn because of my fault with the taxiing direction. Okay. I think all's fine. Now navigation and okay, I think so. So let's taxi to the gate. Oh, what's going on with the gear? That's, uh, that doesn't look very well. But I can't change it. I think it's fine. It's only a, a little bug of um, the add on. So, I don't mind about it. If there's a clock on board, I would ha like to see how, um, which time it is. But I can't see it. So, we will better have a look to the onto the runway than looking into our uh, super intelligent Oh, sorry, I switched on the strobe, uh, then the beacon. Sorry about that. It was a, a small fault. Oh, okay, nice cockpit view. <laughs> sorry, uh, I'm choking a bit with um, Adstock camera. I hope it's allowed from you. Okay, there we will. Have our turn around for uh, the takeoff. Because uh, the Otherwise, it would be a bit difficult. And what if you also wa have this add-on? When you here, you can uh, zoom in and out with your mouse. Only if you need to know, because I have not known in known it. So now, okay. Wow, we are in takeoff configuration. I think so. There is all no 
no uh, remark. So nice. Turn the plane. We can't see it anymore from the tower. But now we are going to take off. Option um, Eva. We have to turn on the TCAS on Eva and have a look to our um, radio panel. Okay. Because TCAS should be switched on, of course. So now we have this too. Okay. Um, flight plan. Okay, now we are ready for departure. Only have to be a little bit better on the runway line up. That's so sad, we can't see the plane. Okay, perfect. The lineup is done and we are ready for takeoff. Nice, here we are taking off. Hope we can ta make our takeoff because it's not the longest runway, you can see. But I think we will do it. Okay, that was a uh, quite a uh, a very very close departure. Hoo -hoo! <laughs> nice. Nearly at the end of the runway, but now we can do our best to turn the plane around. <laughs> oh. Is so close. But a nice takeoff. I have to say it was a nice takeoff, yes, of course. But a bit 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 strange. So now <laughs> we have uh, yeah something like two hours I think so. Uh later we are <laughs> flying here you can see Lake Ontario. I'm not sure but I think so yes and um, here will be Toronto and we have now till the runway uh, we have 79 uh, nautical miles and uh, we can see the top of descent is actually over so we have to start our descent now Um Okay. So, we are now descent for flight level 200 at uh, 2000 feet so Okay, um, something informative uh, information for you. Here you can see um, how fast do you do you descend, and it, it's animated when you are at which point when you continue de uh, your descent like this. And I must say that I really love that. No, I don't want this. Can I bring it back? I don't want this here. Ah, oh, no, and that's <laughs> a pity. Okay. So. There is another plane. 
near us and I don't know uh, which route did this uh, we have here near us a Lufthansa 36 from Vancouver to uh, Frankfurt and f uh, this flight is normally over uh, Greenland and this um, part uh, of the earth and I cannot understand why this plane is here and it's also not in the descent it's at uh, 38,000 feet flight level 380 so I don't know why he is uh, doing such a <laughs> a funny descent, but yes. Okay, next waypoint is Ragido. Or the Rag Ragid. Okay, and um, yes, we have nothing to do, so uh, let's see us uh, during the descent uh, in the time lapse and then uh, when we are uh, on the ILS. <laughs> Okay, we are not at the ILS yet, but nearly. Uh, here you can see the airport with all the important buildings. And yes, we are about to come on the ILS in a few minutes. Uh, really, in a few seconds. Um, here you can see our next waypoint blues and then we um, go in the fi onto the final approach. Yes, uh, now we are at um, 3,000 feet, waiting, and we'll go down for a minimum approach speed as if when we are on the ILS and can put the gear down. We have auto brakes low, of course. The runway isn't the is the shortest one in Toronto. I have seen. As I have seen, but I think that's uh, <laughs> much too long for, <coughs> excuse me, for uh, Embraer 175. So, yeah, that's no problem. There are some turbulences, turbulences now. Okay, we press the approach button. I hope that also. Okay, approach button is set, I think so, and now we are able to land, nice. Okay, please turn around now. Plane, please. Why is that? Autopilot. 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 I uh, just uh, have to land now uh, manual because I uh, I don't know what's the problem, but we have to do this this turn now and not in uh, 10 minutes so yes well, where's the airport? Ah, yes, now. now I have the orientation about all We are much too deep now at the moment, so yes, we can uh, stay at 3000 feet.
nice that the Orbix Direct um, do some uh, good work here with um, the trees and all of the environment, ground environment. Okay. Okay. Now we can go this set flaps to full and set the minimum approach speed to 140 knots. Here we can see our runway. Here, this one. Okay, and gear down. It's a so such a small bird. I like him really. So cute. <laughs> I don't know if this is the correct word for an airplane, but uh, yes. It is cute. Okay. Now, let's see my first landing with the Embraer 175. Uh, although with an Embraer is my first landing. So, it's quite nice. No, not my first landing, but my first approach after a real flight let's say it like this because i've i've done some fly uh, some test flights with the add-on before but no uh, flights with a flight plan and uh, ILS and all about that okay it's going to be a bit windy at the moment But it's a nice, nice plane. Ooh, it's a bit um, turbulent here. So let's see if the runway uh, we can pull the play push the plane down to the runway. Okay, perfect. We have the ILS captured. Even we had some problems with. Yes, it's okay. Please, silence. We are not too high. Now we are too... too ah, I don't know. <coughs> What's the problem with the glide slope? Here we can see the skyline of Toronto. The Toronto Billy Bishop International uh, Airport I will buy also sometime, some uh, days. The add-on. Then we can fly with the Porter Airlines and with Air Canada with the Dash. Some um, are quite nice flights. Also to some bigger destinations because here from Toronto Pearson, most of the Dash 8 series um, planes go uh, fly to such small airports uh, which don't have add-ons or where I don't want to buy an add-on because um, why should I buy an add-on from Thunder Bay with three flights a day? Something like that I don't need. Okay, puppy lights are saying that we are perfect in the approach and I think so too. Yes, can, could be a really nice landing. Okay, full concentration for this visual approach. We have the ILS as a help, but uh, mostly I don't look at the ILS only when we are at 1000 feet or something like that when we are really high approaching minimums minimums continue minimums. 100 50 40 30 Twenty. Ten. Throttle. Nice landing. Touchdown. Oh.
Okay, that ain't enough. No takeoff. Spoiler. No takeoff. Flash. Nice landing. That was uh, really amazing. Okay. Okay, now. Okay, write the write the landing in the comments. We will uh, watch the replay soon. But first, we were going to taxi to our runway, uh, to our gate. Sorry. So we will choose gate. Gate. Um, one hundred and sixty. Sixty-four. Mm, that don't fit. Sixty-six. Ninety-one is also uh, something possible. Ninety-one. Gate ninety-one. Uh, one hundred ninety-one. Um, no, follow me. I think we can find the um, the gate with the charts as a help. Okay, that was a really beautiful landing. So yes, I like the Emperor jets. Really, they they are uh, they are flying. Uh, have good, good. They are good, and you can handle them good. So here are the the icing stands. Of Toronto is quite big area, but I think it's necessary here because of the really cold winters. And yes, when you fly uh, in the winter from the Toronto Pearson, also from the add-on, I, I don't know how it is in real life, but I've seen some pic pics. And yes, I saw quite mm, quite much snow. So. Yes. Um, I think, and all in the add-on too, there is all uh, here is all snow, and on the taxiway is also a bit snow. Um, yes. So you can see that Toronto is a snowy airport, but it's a, a big airport also. Yes, uh, when you look at it, here all the the icing stands are. Yes, we will fly um, uh, from Toronto to a destination in the winter, I see. Because <laughs> I want to taxi through this, the icing stands. Here is also for the icing something, I think so. But I'm not sure. Oh, what a nice... A nice bird. What? But what happened with the, with the gear? I don't know. <laughs> yes. Oh, we passed the runway. <laughs> I didn't uh, see that. Okay. From this gate, I departed when I was in Hong uh, in Hong Kong. I don't what I'm talking about? In Toronto, uh, I was parked. Uh, I was seven eight seven. Was parked at this gate here. This this was the long um, way to the terminal. Yes, but I don't know uh, the number of uh, our airplane. I don't know it anymore. <laughs> really sad for me. Personally, because yeah, you know, I I like planes and spotting, and maybe I would see her again. Uh, but yes, I've I've not not uh, looked at this. So yes. Okay, last view from the tower, because uh, uh, in a few seconds we will be behind the um, the terminal. Okay, now I don't know which uh, gate we exactly have. As a yes, I know um, which gate we have. It's 191, but I don't know where it is. Uh, ah, it's here. 
this one 93 and, and 94 is also so my charts are quite old this is the apron tower I see on my charts nice to know but a bit unnecessary <laughs> I know yes and here you can um, you drive all the way down uh, and see all the the short haul planes it's quite interesting the, you can make some cute pics <laughs> okay here we are um now which taxiway i have to take okay this one here because otherwise we will go to this gate and we don't want this so we are going to drive via this taxiway here is this correct no this is also wrong ah <laughs> sorry about that but i'm not so good in the orientation now at the moment no takeoff. Yes, Skyler. I know. No takeoff. Flash. Okay, here we have self-docking system, of course, but I don't want to crash into the. Oh, stop! 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 Okay, didn't know that. But we have some meters to go. And I think we have to go because otherwise VSX don't fit uh, anymore. I think this. Perfect! 0, 0.0. That's nice. Okay, and before we are going to do anything, yes, you know it already. Disconnecting and Z instant replay and don't open the f window that we will do now after okay so let's see you in a few seconds okay we'll see the runway uh, the, the landing now okay here we are gliding into the approaching then wow okay perfect a bit late but perfectly on the center line mm, nearly perfect but for the, such a small plane, it doesn't matter. 20. Okay, this is also a nice view, I think so. So we'll have a look at this too. Here. I was landing on this runway here. 50. This, but uh, yes, not on the Embraer, on the 787. 10. Okay, and touchdown, smooth touchdown. But now we are at our gate, and first of all, the IPU is running, so we can switch off the engines. And when the engines are switched off, we can do this and open the doors so that's nice here the f chatway is arriving open the window as already promised okay sadly but we ha can't connect the APU uh, the CPU at the moment but yes okay that's it I think so yes and now we can request the deboarding Okay, and yes, that was a really beautiful flight. So, thanks for watching, and uh, if you also think that it was a really beautiful flight, you can lef leave me a thumb up and subscribe me if you want to see more. And uh, activate the bell if you want uh, to be informed when I've posted a video. And yes, that's it for today. The, here, all p um, baggages are going to be deboarded, and the passengers you can hear in the background are going to be deboarded too. So, 
that's uh, quite amazing and what are these uh, these um, blue pushback trucks are going to be because I, on, I see them often in the last time have I installed an add-on from them but I don't know why which okay so thanks for watching and have a nice day goodbye